What's wrong? You sleepy? You sleepy? Ah, no. Let's go to sleep. You talking? All right. So, ooh, it's a lot going on. Like, don't pass judgment. But it is almost eight o'clock, and it is almost time for baby Nala to go to bed. And because of that, uh, it made me think how I was recently talking about. Yeah, she really slipped me. I was recently talking about this little nesty thing that I wanted to try out with her. It came a couple of days ago. I've been trying to film this, and each night it's almost like she come home from daycare, and it's like time to rush and get her to sleep. So she's sleeping right now and hungry, and I see that I have this. So I'm just basically going to see if I can try to set this up. I took it out the bag all right now, and this is what it's looking like. So let's just go ahead and go to the room hopefully get her to go to sleep and then in the meantime i can try to set this up in her bed so let's see how this goes oh she's getting heavy jeez y'all don't understand how much this girl weighs lord i forgot your milk how do i want to do this Let's lay you in bed really quickly. Don't you do anything I wouldn't do. I'm coming back. Wait one second while I grab your milk. I'm going to heat up this breast milk because I don't think she wants uh, formula right now. I'm hoping that this goes well without her docket top because... Okay. Because I want to be able to sleep in my room comfortably without any stress. But I can't seem to do that. Okay, that's perfect. 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 How are you doing? We have recently been not swaddling her when she's been asleep. Look how big she's got. How she's like hanging out the docketot. Oh, my baby is growing. But, yeah, we have recently been not swaddling her as much. And she has been sleeping pretty fine. Um, just maybe getting up like two hours earlier than normal. But, overall, she's been doing very good, haven't you? Haven't you, baby? You've been doing so good. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn on her sound machine. A white noise, right? Your white noise machine, right? Let's get you changed out your clothes in this outfit and get you a little wipey wipe. Um, it's just a lot. I'm not really in the mood to do a whole bath thing right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and wipe her down and just get her ready for bed tonight and just give her a bath tomorrow when she gets home because I'm not it's just not I've been editing all day my back hurt I haven't been using the right chair and it's just a whole lot a whole lot of so let's just go ahead and do that Look at you. Look at you. And your little one sleeper. It's not one. You your little bear sleeper. Mm -hmm. It's time to go to sleep. Usually around this time, we um, kind of talk a little bit, chat it out before I give her the bottle. And then usually she's in 20 minutes fast asleep. So. Let's do some stretches before we go to sleep. Up, down, up, 
She'll kick her butt back after a while. Look, you see? You see? <laughs> she doesn't like to sit at all. She doesn't like to be upright at all. So, if this continues to go this way, I'm definitely going to look into a physical therapist because at this point she should really be interested in doing these things, but she's really not. But let me show you guys again. She's trying to fall over. See? She do that? She's trying to throw herself back. See? She really doesn't like to sit up. So yeah, that is the routine. So let me just go ahead and try to feed her. Watch some stuff on my phone until she falls asleep. Then I gotta turn off the light. So I'll turn it back on when she's asleep. I'm gonna take the crib out. Try it at least for naps and stuff like that until she's in it. Alright, 
so clearly I just put her down I don't know if it's if it fit based off of reviews I've seen people say their eight month old fits in it and I don't know if I just laid it down too fat on that little oval part and that I didn't wasn't able to pull as much around her but it's enough on there to where she ain't gonna move but she's asleep I guess that's a good thing I don't know if I'm gonna end up keeping her in it or I just don't know how I feel yet uh, because it's not really secure tight and I don't want to put it too tight on her because I want her to breathe so I'm gonna see how I feel throughout the night I'm probably gonna put her in a docket tie until I really fix it properly but I just want her to get a little bit of time to get used to laying down like that and she did pretty well and she fell asleep pretty fast in it so that's really good but probably need some time to readjust it but I will tell you guys what happened in the morning all right, so it's actually a couple of days later since um, the clip you see of me showing you Nala actually strapped in into the little baby rest thing. Now, in the middle of the night, what you didn't see was me actually taking her out of that because I just wasn't comfortable with her sleeping like that all night with it not being on properly as I would like it to. When you see the pictures of the babies that's in the actual product it is on completely over and they look snug they look comfortable and overall just looks good but as you can see in that little clip it felt like she was actually too big for it so i ended up taking her out and i already seen a flaw as you seen when me and david was trying to figure it out um the velcro that's on this is pretty powerful but it is loud as hell <laughs> uh when i took her out of it she like was startled she like jumped up out of her sleep and i tried to like hair up and grab her soothe her and everything and then i just ended up putting her back in the docket top so let me just show you how loud it was just so you can understand the severity which is a flaw in itself um, because if I'm waking my baby up and getting her changed in the middle of the night, the last thing I want to do is open this and really wake her up the whole night, especially if you have a baby that's not really sleeping well through the night. So when she was strapped in this and she wasn't even strapped in it that well, uh, it kind of made this sound. Let me try to prop it up. So just imagine that she's in here and she was in here pretty decent. So when I took this off, it was like... And I don't know if you could tell how loud that is, but that is loud in the middle of the night. Really loud. Really loud. Imagine. I think these two are the worst because if you look at this, look how big this Velcro is. This is one piece and now this one piece. And see on this. Those are really wide. I really like the idea of that because it's going to be strong enough so they won't get out of it. But in my opinion, that's a really big flaw if I'm going to be waking them up in the middle of the night every single time changing. Because some babies, they're really hard to put back to sleep. But two, it just don't look like it fits very well. So right now, I'm just I'm going to end up returning it. I really need to find... A solution to this very soon because she's getting to the point to where I can see the potential rolling happening because um, she does this little stretch thing and she kind of like pushes against the docket tot um, to where she feels it so well and then she'll fall asleep but she does it so far to where I fear that she's gonna end up flipping or being on her side or something or being on her stomach and can't flip back. So I actually started sleeping back in her room. I could guess I can move and talk now. So I actually started to sleep back in her room again because like I said, I haven't really found a good enough option. She is um, slowly about to outgrow the docket tot. She's in there pretty snug now. It's not overbearing. So I'm just looking around to see what I need to do. You see that I had my 30th little game night party. So it just says happy birthday right there. And my good friends decorated 
this thing up front. It kind of was that game night Vegas thing. So it says, holy sh, you're old. And that was just really funny and cute. And we had this little setup over there. I got the 30, 30 sign. If you don't know, I am 30 years old. Um, so yeah, it had the 30 balloons and the little thing. And this was decorated all pretty. And too bad I didn't record. I don't know what it is. Like, I just haven't been in the mood to do much. <laughs> I didn't even finish getting dressed, really. Like, I got dressed for the party. But I didn't even, like, put on my lashes. I had to force myself to, uh, put on makeup. I don't know what it is. But I just, I just... It's like nothing has really been a big deal to me. I don't know if it's that I just haven't had the energy. I don't know if it's just that I'm getting older and stuff just is not as big of a deal to me. I just don't know. Maybe I'm just in a different phase in my life. So, oh yeah, I was talking about the Dr. So she's starting to grow out of it. She's in there pretty snug now, which is it's still comfortable, but I can foresee me needing to get the bigger Dr. Top, but I am afraid to get the bigger docket top because she might especially roll now. So I don't know if I just need to find a bigger one of those things. You know, I just need to do more research. So if you know anything about one of those little strap things or what I can do to try to help prevent her from rolling, I really want to get to the point to where I'm stopped swaddling, swaddling her because the worst case to happen in my opinion is that I swaddle her she rolls in her stomach and she can't like try at least to lift her head up i am in a rush situation to try to figure this out i don't know maybe i should come up with my own little design to try to prevent her from flipping over i don't know so until then unfortunately me and david are sleeping separately because for one the room she sleeps in gets pretty hot um, so we are in the midst of trying to find out that middle ground of AC because it seems like when I put it on 76, it gets kind of cold in her room oddly. But then when I put it on 77, it gets hot around like, usually wake up like around that four o'clock time and I'm sweating. So we are in a battle so David can't really handle that. Plus her room has a day bed which is a twin size and we can comfortably sleep in it but um overall david's body get weird and he gets sores and all this type stuff so he is sleeping in uh our room which has the like tempurpedic like mattress and i am currently back in her room with her so yeah that is kind of what's going on i just kind of wanted to give an update before i kind of close it out appreciate you guys for watching if you have any 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 information about what i can do about her not flipping please leave it down in the comments below but besides that i guess i will see you guys in the next one